Show me how. I'm gonna show you how to replace a vent line 2262-50, that's 50, that's, uh, you know, CFM, okay, um, that's what the 50 denotes, this is the uh, motor and the propeller, the fan, and it's burnt out, and this fits inside here as such, okay, and you'll see the slot right here for this slot, and basically it sits in there like that. Okay, um, and it would be, sorry about that there, folks, it would actually be inversed from this, so it would sit in like this, okay, it's going to sit in like this, okay, and this lid goes over this, this cover, your wire comes in here. When they sent me the new fan, the fitting was facing inside here. Pop it out, turn it around. It's supposed to be facing on the outside. And it says it right on the fitting. It, it, it's like a, a Romex connector, okay? And this is basically your junction box right here. So this, would, this would turn around, okay? This part here would go this way. Hopefully you can understand that. Now, mine didn't have a notch for this little fitting. So it was a little bit of a, a fuss to get out. I had four square screws, uh, number two, that were face mounted on the flange. Okay, and here's the side. So when that little connector box stubs out, because it's a manufactured home, it was all done in the factory. They made it a super tight fit and then they probably wired it from behind or whatnot. And this is your uh, mesh that goes on top, at the very top, as such, okay? And this is the bottom. This is your finished trim right here, okay? That goes on like this. The new ones, Sorry about that, I keep moving this around. I have a tripod on me. I wasn't even gonna shoot this, but I wanna help you out. The new ones don't have this. They're spring-loaded, and I will show you. They're just done by that compression spring technique. So that's what it looks like when you're looking at the ceiling, and then you come in, you pop that finish cap off. You unthread your nut, this comes off, that's actually threaded on to this as such. So the cover to the box is threaded on. And the new one's not like that either. It's held on by clips. And I will show you that. Okay, so I'm on a tripod now. So here's the screws, the face screws right here. And it's a number two. You know the drill, goggles. Gloves, garb, garb meaning clothing. You also know the drill, Makita, the only way to fly. All right, so if you look up here, you'll see the holes for the face mount. I took this notch, this little all cut, okay? And that's where I made the notch for this, that little stub out. So when they shipped it to me, the stub was on the inside. But it says that the face part of that, that fits flush to the, to the actual housing is supposed to be on the inside. And you'll see this is clamped on here, basically with like a compression, these little tabs. Notice there's no all thread, piece of thread for your nut to hold the vent on. Okay, so remember, keep your power off. She's working good. All right. 58 box eBay vent line 2262.50. 50 CFM. I didn't want to come in here and start carving up. Okay. Let's give my tenant a nice brand new one. So it's all ready to go. And then I'll just face mount it back. But you have to notch it because they did such a good job at the factory putting this in. 
that I couldn't even push, push it up inside. All right, and I may still have a little bit of a fuss here. I hope not. Because I might have to notch out a little bit more. Let's see here. See here. Don't like to whack too hard. There you go. So she's in. Let's see if she's running. What you want to do is make sure she's inside the, uh, the ducking. Which she should be on a on a manufactured home uh, because they're able to do that pretty good. Okay, flange it almost lines up perfect. I think my flange is a little bit smaller, and all the holes line up pretty well, folks. So let's see what happens. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. And it was a little bit of a, now you don't want to over torque these. You could probably definitely use a gun with a, an adjustable setting torque. Okay. the original but it's still a nice fit okay and I'm just using the I'm just using the original screws that they put in now you can already see a little bit of a problem darn it and that would be with the slots let's see Okay, so what you're going to want to do, but maybe not, it's going to depend on your fitment, is you want to make sure that this slot is open, like this side here, okay? I'll show you that right now. Oops. Make sure you folks can see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can, can you? Okay. There's little slots that these go on, they're like your can lights, your recessed lighting, and they're basically spring-loaded, tension, it's all by tension, okay? And I just open that drywall enough, Let's see what happens. You're gonna wanna put them in even. A Little bit of blockage on the rear one. See what happens. Little little belting there, and there you go, folks. It's a little bit smaller. That finish ring is smaller than the other one, right? They do that on purpose. So you have to work harder. She's got some good good draft, definitely. Now it came with a piece of foam. I'm not sure if that should be left on or not. Um, that's a good question. It's pulling moisture, but it's pulling dust too. So I left mine off. Anybody want to report back to me? Fine. I'm not trying to share it or do anything the wrong way. It took me about a half hour to do this, folks. The key is the notch, if you have a manufacturer at home, they did that with a hole saw that was probably exactly, you know, an eighth of an inch bigger than the actual housing. And uh, that's what mine was, it did a good job, but there shouldn't have been anything but a good job because it was all done in the factory. Anyway, show me how, just showed you how to install a vent line. Keep your power off, but remember when you have a switched lamp or something the switch alone shuts the power off 
Oh, and here's the original, by the way. That was the original stub. So imagine this was inside the box and all of this was on the outside. So if you only have an eighth inch diameter going all the way around, that's a good inch right there. So that's what was kind of hanging me up getting it out. So keep that in mind when you're trying to get it out. Don't panic, but either try to break that off and push it through. And I broke it off because I had a new connector and you will too uh, when you buy a new fan. All right. And uh, that's the key. And now mine was on the outside. Uh, and when I bought it, um, this part was on the in, inside, I believe, the part that was protruding. And they said flip it over. So the flange part, at least the one I got, is flush on the inside of the fan. Okay? All right. Hope I didn't confuse you. Show me how.